नमस्ते वेलकम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्टेप वन ऑब्जर्विंग द इमेजिनेशन पर्टिकुलरली द फीलिंग इन द इमेजिनेशन स्टेप टू सींग इफ द फीलिंग इज नेचुरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू अर्स और नॉट वेदर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टे विद इट और कम आउट ऑफ दैट फीलिंग step 3 seeing whether we are comfortable with this feeling happy within or uncomfortable unhappy within step 4 we asked who was deciding the feeling that i was having at every moment and we came to the conclusion that it is i who is deciding the feeling that i am having at any moment so it is i who am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness at any moment and at every moment so then in step 5 we asked what was the basis on which we were deciding our feeling is the feeling based on right understanding or is it based on an assumption in the absence of right understanding so if i have based my feeling on right understanding that means i have understood that means i am living with that understanding and i will always have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to to me so the feeling will be definite it will be continuous and i can be in happiness all the time but if i have based my feeling on an assumption in the lack of understanding then it's not clear whether i will be happy or i will be unhappy because i have not evaluated my assumption and just on the basis of the assumption on what i believe to be true i have a certain feeling so it may or may not be in line with the reality it may or may not be in line with the natural acceptance so whenever it is in line i will be happy whenever it is not in line i will be unhappy next slide please so from there we could see that obviously there is a need for us to have the right understanding so that we can have the right the naturally acceptable feeling at all times and be happy at all times so we ask the question which are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to me which are in line with understanding the feelings that i want to continue with that i don't want to come out of it and we found that it is the feelings of relationship the feeling of harmony and the feeling of coexistence that we want in continuity we don't want to be in a feeling of opposition we don't want to be with a feeling of disarmony we don't want to have a feeling of beings having to struggle against life those are the times when we can see that we want to come out of those states so then we said that we need to ensure the right understanding that means we must have an understanding of relationship of harmony of coexistence and the process for that is what we are doing one is observing the imagination two is referring to the natural acceptance step two and then from there this process we go through and then we can contemplate on the relationship on our participation our role in the larger order we can try to understand the harmony the self organization in every unit and eventually realize the coexistence and like we said when that contradiction when that cloud of conflict starts becoming less and less 
and we keep paying attention to the inside, these higher activities become known to us or we become conscious of them. So then our feeling is decided 100% or can be decided 100% based on the activities of B1, based on right understanding. Yes. So we ask this question. Ask yourself in your day-to-day -day life, in your everyday interactions with people, in everything that you do, what kind of feeling are you having within? We do many things. We focus on the doing, on what activities we did. We also wonder many times if our behavior is right or wrong. But we need to check the feeling at the base because if we are trying to change the behavior without taking care of the feeling, we won't be able to sustain it. Because the feeling at the base, even if we are trying to behave in a way that we don't react, but at the base, our feeling is one of opposition. Then at that moment, we may be able to control ourselves, but the very next moment, the feeling which is there will start driving the thoughts again towards opposition and we will react. We will have an uh, expression in our behavior. So ultimately we have to work on the feelings. And we have to work on the feelings within ourselves because that is what is deciding our happiness and unhappiness. So with this, so there are two questions in this. One is having a different behavior with or seeing relationship with the immediate family members different from seeing the relationship with others or not being able to see the relationship with others outside. That is one part. The other part is what to do when the other is in pain, right? Now, the first part, we can keep it open about the relationship. See, what happens is, whatever amount of, whatever I can see so far, I base everything on that. So if I don't have the higher activities opened up for me yet, then I cannot see with that vision. I can only see with the limited amount of development of the self that is there, isn't it? So in this, if you see the lower um, diagram, you will notice that at the bottom of the activities is the selecting tasting. So a person who is at the level of selecting tasting will only see the form outside, but will not be able to understand the deeper interrelationships, the innateness, the self-organization and so on of the form. I mean, we have been able to get that as information. We may not be able to see it fully. If you go up to the thought process, analyzing, comparing, using logic and so on, you may be able to see the form and some part of the property also, the effect of one unit on another unit. If you go little further and you go up to the feeling. First of all, to be able to see what kind of feeling we are having at any moment, it takes some time to be able to see the feeling directly. 
observe the feeling within ourselves and then if the higher activities are not or we are not aware of the higher activities if that um, activity of contemplation has not really kicked in or i have not become aware of it then i am not able to see the relationship with each and every person and i am not able to see my participation in the relationship so once this contemplation activity of contemplation i become awakened to this activity then i will truly be able to see that the relationship is already there i have just not been able to understand it yet the relationship is there not just with the family members and if you see if i have a very deep rooted assumption that i am the body then i will see my relationship with anybody that is interlinked or interconnected with the body so we have what we call blood relatives bodily relatives so we have assumed a relationship with only those that are connected to the body and we have assumed that we don't have a relationship with those not connected to the body but i am not the body i am the self and if we look at the level of the self then we see that the feeling is not in the body the feeling is in the self and this feeling in the self at the level of the self there is a similarity in all selves if i go further and if i can understand the self better i will also be able to see that at the level of the self there are these two parts of me one part is the b2 blob the content of which keeps changing it keeps fluctuating and it is different for different selves but there is another part in the b1 block particularly at the highest activity the activity of realization the glimpse of which we have in the form of our natural acceptance we will see that at that point from that point we are all similar how is that possible we all see it the same from there how is that possible because ultimately when we get to being able to be aware of this activity of realization we'll be able to see that this at the base of all of us we are all embedded in that space and just by virtue of being in space all the units are already interconnected they already have a relationship we don't have to make a relationship we just have to understand it and when we can see that very clearly then there is no no difficulty in seeing nobody has to tell me what kind of feeling to have for instance if i look at the body nobody has to tell me to have concern for every part of the body it's not like i have concern only for the hand but not for the feet or i have concern for the face but not for the leg or whatever some part why because i can see that the entire body is my responsibility i can see my relationship with that but if i don't see the relationship then of course somebody might have to tell me that you need to have the feeling of responsibility for this part also this part also this part also 
even now i may not be seeing my responsibility towards the body i may be using the body just for the sensation i'm not saying particularly for you i'm just saying as examples so ultimately i have to be able to open up or become aware of these higher activities within myself to truly be able to understand things the way they are right now we have it as information but we don't necessarily really understand it we have heard about it yes but it is not there in our living because again the assumptions are playing up in our living it is the assumptions that are ruling the feeling and ultimately when we can have all these higher activities open up then we can truly see that these assumptions were not really in line and they were misguiding us or we were basing our feeling on something that was not real so that is one part also when the activity of contemplation has awakened we will also be able to see our role in the relationship so it's when suffer somebody is suffering somebody is in pain i don't have to go into pain i don't have to suffer the pain but i will certainly be empathetic i will be compassionate and i will do whatever is in my power to do so that i can make the other person feel more comfortable because somewhere i see my complementarity with every other person because i can see the relationship and i can see my participation my role in that so i will make that effort because i can also see that the other is lacking in competence right now they are not able to see themselves as separate or you know see the imagination from a distance right now they are the imagination that is how they see it and they are suffering the consequence of that so i will try to make effort to put them at ease to make them feel more comfortable certainly by all means i cannot make another person understand but i can try i can make effort and i can try to make the other um or make the effort for the other to be at ease to be calm to be comfortable so i will do that right now we may be over evaluating many relationships and whenever we don't have the right evaluation of the relationship we tend to over evaluate something and under evaluate the others but as we keep exploring and as we keep checking within ourselves with the right understanding or at least with the reference to our natural acceptance slowly we can start making evaluations that are more in line with the right understanding so that we can have the right understanding or the right evaluation of every relationship of every unit starting from myself so even when i am saying that i am not disturbed i may be looking at my opinions i may not be truly able to see my feeling at this moment so i would say keep it open because somewhere if we are thinking about it again and again there is some disturbance isn't it otherwise we move on but some things we keep coming back to in the imagination again and again and again 
So it may be more subtle, but we can take a look. Why are we coming back to it? Something is bothering us somewhere. There is a question. There is some disturbance. Something is there. Otherwise, why are we not letting it go? And by coexistence, I understand the interdependence within the different units, different uh, orders. Uh, so, could you put more light on that? Yeah. See, ultimately, to fully be able to see the coexistence, we have to develop the competence to be able to see space, which is an extremely subtle reality. Right now, it may be difficult for us to see it, but certainly we can see, you know, the glimpse in the form of the natural acceptance. So, if we refer to our natural acceptance, for instance, you know, in, in our day-to-day -day life, in all the actions that we are doing, one way can be that we are constantly having to feel like we are doing something with a lot of effort, a lot of struggle. Another way can be that we have a lot of acceptance for things as they happen because somewhere deep down we have that assurance that things are going in a very definite manner. Right now what we do is we try to see things through the gross eyes. So we see the whole variety, we see things that are forming, deforming and we have disturbance. But if we see, you know, the, if we were able to see this interconnectedness for what it truly is, if we were able to see that at the base, things are unchanging, at the base, the existence was there, it is there, will be there, it is ever present. Yes, yes. With that, if I can also see that I, as the self, am a continuous unit, continuous in time, then, you know, these, um, this, my interaction with every other unit, slowly with time, with more contemplation with more um, as we develop our competence we will be able to see better and better so rather than give it a name right now at least if we can see this that am i finding life as a struggle am i finding it difficult am i finding it a lot of effort if I am doing that, then I am not able to see that. Um, you know, I am not able to be in harmony within. If I am not in harmony within, if I am not at peace within, if I have a lot of disturbance in my thoughts, then I will not be able to see those higher activities. So first and foremost, I have to settle this disturbance within. As and when I become more and more calm, more and more comfortable, more and more having the right feeling in line with understanding, as that happens, then slowly I will also be able to become aware of these higher activities within myself. They are already there. I just have to be able to access them. So that will happen naturally. So rather than give it a name, rather than try to put it in words, ultimately that feeling of coexistence can be there all the time. In fact, any of the feelings ultimately will be ensured at all times without effort 
only when these higher activities we become aware of more and more. Does that help? Yes, yes. Yes, um, Didi, one thing that you referred something, continuance of the self, means uh, uh, we are talking of rebirth. Now, I'm just saying that like the body is limited in time, no? It has a body that is born will ultimately die. Yes, yes. The self is a continuous unit. It is not limited in time. Mm -hmm. so, okay. But we may not be able to see it right now because deep down that assumption may be there, even though we have it as information that the body is a material unit, it will, you know, go through this process, but the self is continuous or whatever, we may be able, not be able to see it fully. So somewhere that mixing up of the self and the body happens, even though we have got it as information. So all of this, we have to spend more effort into paying attention to the inside, paying attention to our feeling, checking with the natural acceptance and contemplating just on things as even if we have received it as information, churning this information within us, but at the same time working on our feeling, bringing it in line with the natural acceptance. With that slowly as we become more and more calm, more and more comfortable and we are reflecting on this information, slowly our competence will become better and we will be able to access this information or this, um, you know, we'll be able to directly see it, whatever we had as information. So for five minutes, we will reflect on the feelings. I try to reflect on the feeling within ourselves, checking with our natural acceptance, trying to reflect on these feelings of relationship, of harmony, of coexistence. Having, uh, being able to see these higher activities, it will take a lot of time. So let's not try to rush it. Let's not try to just, um, you know, skim through it that, yes, we have understood. We may not have understood relationship also yet. We may not have understood the feeling also correctly yet. So um, what we have as information, we may be assuming that I have understood that. But ultimately, if it has not come into my living, I haven't really been able to understand it completely. So the process will be such that slowly it will move stepwise. Um, so if I have not yet understood um, myself properly, if I have not been able to understand the human being properly, if I have not been able to understand the relationship properly, ultimately I will not be able to see the existence properly right now. I have the potential, but that potential will slowly unfold as we keep going, as we keep moving. So let's not try to rush it. Let's try to just keep paying attention, working with ourselves, and then uh, we'll see that it starts unfolding for us. Yeah, we can try to see for ourselves why we were disturbed. Yeah. Something we may have assumed, something, yes, yes. you know, that we can... Uh, so more than the incident, we have to work with the feeling and see, feeling part, yeah. yeah. And if we ask that question, why was I feeling disturbed? Yeah. We will get some more answers, some clues to, you know, yeah. what yeah. assumptions we are having behind it, which are leading to that feeling. Isn't it? Yes. Those things which are done with the more settled things, they will not uh, reoccur. Otherwise, they keep on reoccurring. That something is, uh, which was not in line with the natural acceptance has happened. Yeah. 
see many many imaginations we have we keep having yes but we don't get stuck to them or they don't we don't keep thinking about everything yeah, some things mind. stick yes some yes. things we are going on going through turning again and again and again yeah. so there we can notice that there is some discomfort some uh, feeling is not right yeah. some disturbance is there therefore we are reflecting or therefore we are bringing it up again and again that imagination yes, yes. 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 so yes. certainly we have to resolve it otherwise what happens is we tend to just put it away somewhere yeah. we avoid looking at it and we try to what people call no time pass Yeah, yeah try to do right. something <laughs> some activity yeah. outside that can take your mind away from that I mean, but ultimately but it is there part within part you part. and it will surface yeah. again so yes, we have yes, to yes. resolve these so you have to face it you have to come face to face with that feeling ask yourself why you are having this feeling you know yes. and slowly we'll be able to come face to face with our assumptions so many assumptions that we have which are not in line with our yeah. natural acceptance with our understanding yeah